Hey guys, as summer is right around the corner and it's finally getting sunny in England, I'm going to show you how to make my go-to homemade vanilla ice cream. It's so easy to make and you do not need an ice cream machine. So I'm going to start by heating up some cream in a pan and to give that a nice bit of flavour, I'm going to add in a vanilla pod and its seeds. So using a sharp knife, I'm going to cut down the centre of the pod. While I wait for that to heat up, I'm going to whisk together my caster sugar and my egg yolks. So pour those in. So this is going to take a few minutes to whip up. You want it to be a nice smooth mixture and you're looking to get a baby yellow colour. And don't forget to keep checking on your cream. You don't want it to catch on the bottom of the pan. So keep moving that around. My cream mixture is done. It's really hot, but it's not boiling. You have to make sure you don't bring the mixture to a boil. Take the vanilla pod out. I'm now going to pour a third of that into my egg yolk mixture. And to stop my bowl from slipping everywhere, I'm going to pop a damp tea towel underneath the bowl. So I like to add just a third of the mixture in first to bring the temperature of the eggs up. Otherwise, if we pop them straight into the cream, they're just gonna scramble. So give them a little whisk first, and then pour that back into the pot. And now you just wanna pop that back on the heat for a few minutes until it thickens and it coats the back of a spoon. So let me know in the comments, what is your favorite ice cream flavor? I love making these vanilla lollies as you can customize the flavor when you're about to eat it. I love drizzling over some chocolate, fruit, and nuts at the end. It's delicious. My ice cream is done. It coats the back of my spoon nicely. So I'm gonna leave that to cool down before transferring into my ice lolly molds. And then if I have any leftover, I'll just pop it in a Tupperware box so I have ice cream as well as ice cream lollies. These can now go in the freezer for about one to two hours and then I'm going to pop the lollipop sticks in. You want it to be set enough for it to stand without moving around. These can now go in the freezer, preferably overnight to set, but if you can't wait, at least four hours should be fine depending on your freezer. My ice cream lollies are out of the freezer and they're frozen. Now it's time to decorate. I've got a mixture of things to top my ice creams with. I've got some milk and white chocolate, some sprinkles, some nuts. It's going to be delicious. So I'm gonna drizzle the chocolate over off the back of my spoon. Doesn't need to be too neat. Those pistachios are gonna add a really nice crunch to the lolly. And those freeze-dried strawberries add a really nice sweet tartness to the ice lolly. I also like to add a bit of white chocolate to add a pop of colour. This is a really fun thing to do with your friends or family. I like that they don't look too neat, they look more homemade. So once you've finished decorating how you'd like to decorate them, you want to pop them back in the freezer just to firm up a bit more and then they're ready to enjoy. So that is how you make my vanilla ice cream lollies. Easy.